All right, I've been looking at this company for a while now, just seeing their display here. Something to do with tech driving, uh, truck driving, automotive. I, I, I got to find out right now. I've been curious about it for a while. Over here is called Mars Auto. The name itself is cool too, so let's find out. Hey, how's it going? Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay, uh, can you introduce Mars Auto? What is Mars Auto? Uh, Mars Auto develops automated driving system for cargo trucks. Perfect. Okay, so what does that mean? Can you explain your products to us a little bit more? Uh, Mars Pilot, our automated driving system, consists of seven cameras, one computer, two actuators. We retrofit existing diesel trucks and then make it autonomous. Seriously? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, so I guess there, there it says the future of trucking. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that being said, uh, how does this work? So all those in the future, you're thinking trucks are, are going to be autonomous. We don't need drivers. Uh, sure. I, I, I think it. I think it's a very known fact that mm -hmm. all trucks will be uh, being autonomous. Will be being autonomous uh, first handedly and. I just read in the U that recently in the U.S. there's going to be a huge shortage in the next five to ten years of like over 150,000 truck drivers. There's just not enough truck drivers in the U.S. right now. So this is one of the solutions that you're expecting. Uh, perfect. Uh, you're right. And it's a global trend that the truck shortage, truck driver shortage, is worsening. Yeah. So okay. So you're here at CES, and as we just mentioned, it's not just a global trend. Also in the U.S., there is going to be a huge shortage. What are your goals at CES? 2023 this year? Uh, firstly, uh, we are already in commercial level in Korea. So we are deploying five trucks with L3, laboratory autonomous truck. We are one and only company approved by government mm -hmm. by special permit. And we are expanding our operation in the United States. So we are looking for pilot program partner in the United States. So level three means that the driver has to be there, but mm -hmm. you're allowed to let the truck drive itself. Uh, yes, truck drives itself, but we call it four-back driver or four-back operator. Okay. So when the, the operator detects some dangerous situation, they have to intervene. Uh, so let's talk the future then. What do you think the goal is? When do you expect level four autonomous driving to happen? And is what's the market that you're also looking forward to? That Which market will be first to allow full autonomous driving? Korea, US, outside? Uh, I think uh, the United States will be the first, but it is up to totally up to Korea's uh, uh, government and legislation uh, committee. And this, uh, our market, target market is warehouse to warehouse automation. Mm. Uh, it's very friendly to autonomous driving environment because we have to tailor our system into highway. So average, on average, 97% of total routes are highway. So it's very operational design domain is very friendly to us. Yeah, especially in the U.S. where these highways go on for miles and miles and miles and miles. An incredible place to start. Hopefully, either Korea or U.S. would love to see these out there in the future. Congratulations on your Innovation Awards, a 2023 honoree. That must be exciting for you. Uh, sure. Everyone loved it. Of course. So, nice to meet you and learn about your company. Like, again, Mars Auto, if you want to learn a little bit more about them, check them out online. Find out a little bit more if you're an investor or just someone who's curious about the future of auto tech. Check it out. All right, we'll see you around. Bye, everyone. Thank Very you. cool, man. Very cool.